Hey everyone, welcome back to Bear's Workshop. In today's video, we're gonna do an unboxing and a review of the Homewright Finish Max Super Paint Sprayer. This is the Amazon's Choice. Uh, so we got this, we needed a paint sprayer. And yes, this is all in French, because on the other side is the shipping label, which if I peeled off was just going to peel everything off. So let's take a look at the video, see how this goes. Okay, so we had to buy this paint sprayer because I had one and apparently I must have lent it out before I had this sign and I didn't get it back. And that's why, probably why I got the sign because I always lend out tools, I used to lend out tools and not get them back. So I have this sign now that's totally prevented theft and people borrowing stuff. A number one sign. So let's take a look at what we have inside. I have not opened this. I have no idea what we're getting. I hope it works good. But being the number one choice, it's got to be. So here's our sprayer. Comes with a with a noose, a cardboard noose. This sprayer sprays at 450 watts. That's the rating on the box. Honestly, I don't know if that's good or bad, bad compared to other sprayers, but. They're making claim to it that it's a good thing. Here's our instructions, quite a bit, um, in French and in English, how to use uh, things, let's say, uh, thinning, uh, thinning the stuff out, practice for surface prep, we're gonna do all that. So we'll just put this aside for right now and we'll take a look at our accessories. Okay, here's our accessory bag. In here is going to be Anything that comes with this. We have a cleaner for cleaning up the, uh, the sprayer when, when you're done. It's always necessary. Otherwise, it'll be a one-time use only thing. We have a spray tip right here. And in this bag, we have two tips and a little wrench. Let's see, this was supposed to come with three and the third tip is on the sprayer already. One of them is for fine, one is for more of a mist, and the other one is something else. It says on the box right here. Let's see, we've got a 1.5 millimeter nozzle and tip, that's the blue one. Uh, we've got a wide spray pattern and a fine spray pattern. And it doesn't say which one the green is. So these are our parts. This is where you change the tip. You unscrew this with the wrench that's enclosed in here. It's a tiny, tiny wrench. The yellow air cap is to be used for primer and latex paint. The black air cap is going to be used for sealers, stains, uh, late, latex paint. You could use it for also. Um, but the yellow one is more for like walls, ceilings, for, for bigger areas. The black one. Uh, will be for uh, furniture and small projects. So we're gonna leave the green one that's on there. We're gonna start with the, the black tip because we need a smaller pattern for, for our testing. But we're, we're gonna probably give them all a shot. Uh, so we've got the black cap, we have the green nozzle, we're gonna go ahead and put some paint in it. We're gonna show you the spray pattern for that. Here's the pickup tube. And on the side of this, there is a knob to change the volume of paint coming out. So we're gonna leave it as it is right now, put some paint in here. We're gonna start doing some practice sprays and see what it looks like. All right, this is our first practice run. We are using the black cap with the green nozzle in there. Now that's supposed to be a fine mist. We turn this a quarter of a turn. And that gives us the straight up and down, or the wide horizontal, where the way it was the first time, it was more for going left to right. And then you change it, all you gotta do is turn this a quarter of a, quarter of a turn, and that's what you get. We're gonna change this out real quick, and we're gonna put in a different, uh, 
different nozzle and see what kind of different pattern we have. So to change these nozzles out, you unscrew the cover, the air cap and, and the other lid. You take the tiny little wrench that they gave you, or you could use your own, and just go counterclockwise and start turning it. And then you'll be able to hand turn it. Okay, so we're putting the blue, the blue tip on right now. So simply just replace it and tighten it. Hand tighten it until it's too tight and then use the wrench to finish it off. Apparently that was enough. So we're going to put the black air cap. Okay, we're going to go ahead and use the blue. This should have the same spray pattern. The difference in tips is that this, this tip, the blue tip, is for uh, stains and polyurethane. So let's just take a quick look and see how it looks. Pretty much the same spray pattern, it's just we're not supposed to be putting latex paint in this. Let's try another one. Okay, here we have the yellow air cap and the red tip. That's a lot. That is a very big spray pattern. And that is the yellow. Uh, I didn't realize it was gonna be that big. Let's try it on something a little bit bigger. Okay, well that, that sprayed pretty good. That's got a very wide pattern, uh, good coverage. So if you're painting walls, fences, definitely go with the yellow cap. Okay, now that we've seen the different spray patterns with the different caps, uh, we're for what we're gonna actually be painting, uh, we don't need quite the pattern, the red nozzle with the yellow cap gives us. We are gonna go with blue and black for what we're doing. Because we have something to paint that's only probably a couple inches wide. And the red and yellow combination will give you a, a spray pattern that is 10 to 12 inches wide, which is much more than we need. So we are definitely gonna go a little smaller. But that gives you guys a good demonstration of the spray pattern, which is what I wanted to do. Okay, we're back. You saw, you just saw us do a demonstration of painting the project that we needed to buy this for. Uh, everything went very smoothly. Um, the weight on this, it's pretty light, but with the paint and painting over your head, it gets a little tiresome, but I, don't, I can't blame this. This is overall is pretty lightweight. Um, I've already emptied this and I, got, I need to go clean it. Uh, so cleaning it, make sure you always clean these out. Um, otherwise, it's gonna be a one-time use if you don't clean it. So I've got to go do that. So let's finish up this video. Um, the adjustment knob to change the, the, the volume coming through, I did not change that. It, it was good where it was, I was happy with that. The spray pattern for something that was just like three inches wide, that worked perfect using the blue and the black uh, pieces. Um, there were some small pieces here, this little red piece and this little blue piece I didn't really go through the instructions, but I didn't see any pictures with them on there. and I don't know what they're for. Um, we've got the cleaning tool, we're gonna be using that. The thing that this is lacking would be nice if it was included would be a bag. Uh, some sort of bag to put this in, 
and then put in the nozzles. There's no place to really hook these nozzles up on the side or, or the cleaning tool or this uh, spare uh, cap or the, you know, the different size cap in the wrench. So I'm probably going to have to put it back on the box. I would have preferred some sort of bag. Um, other than that, um, it worked flawlessly. Uh, it was loud, but all paint sprayers are loud. Um, not crazy loud, not like I need some food on earmuffs. But uh, um, it works really good. I think it's worth the $99. I would recommend this right now. Uh, we've got other projects coming up that we're going to use this for stain. And you'll see it in there. Uh, so we're, we're doing some color stain on, on another project. So we'll find the right tips, keep the instructions, put this back on the box and store this away right underneath the no, the no tools loan so my sprayer doesn't go missing. But yeah, I'm going to recommend this. This is, this is a good product for $99. If you have any uh, questions or comments, uh, please below uh, ask me anything you want. Um, I'll, I'll make up an answer if I don't know it. You know, I'm good at BSing people. So thanks for watching, and if you want to support our channel uh, and you're looking to buy one of these, click on that Amazon link that's in the description. Even if you don't buy this and you buy something else, that actually helps support the channel. So please do that, uh, then hit the like button, and if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.